This is a strain that I call Vietnam 1969. The weed in Travis Williams' living room isn't getting him high or arrested. As a registered caregiver, it's a job in a state with the highest unemployment rate in the country. It should be a, a pretty lucrative industry. You know, not street money and lucrative, but uh, enough to make a living. We got a whole bunch of tops right here that all look the same. It's here at Megro Cannabis College where Williams learned a new way to make a buck after his construction business fell as rapidly as the Michigan economy. He sees the legalization of medical marijuana as the quick fix Detroit needs. As far as new industries, uh, this is it for right now. Um, this is I guess it. Medical marijuana. What about green technology or uh, well, that's electric coming. cars? That's coming, but that's going to take some years. So for right now, when you got to pay the mortgage, you, you can't wait a couple of years. You have to move right now. When Michigan voters put their stamp of approval on legislation legalizing medical marijuana in 2008, Nick Tennant saw dollar signs. Because of the economic climate in Michigan, we are particularly poised for growth. Um, people are looking for a new industry to get into. So in September, Tenant founded MedGrow, the first medical marijuana trade school in Michigan. Unlike most businesses here, his is booming. Since it opened, hundreds have graduated from the six-week $475 course, which has been sold out for the last few months. It's a new frontier, and uh, I'm excited to see this for the state. They need help as much as they can get. But there's a clear catch-22 when it comes to what's legal and what's not. Registered patients can smoke medical marijuana, but they can't legally buy it. And caregivers can plant it, but they can't buy the seeds to grow it. It's like you think the government or the state is playing a joke on you. Um, okay, marijuana is legal, but then they come bust you. The Michigan Department of Community Health, which oversees the program, admits the law is unclear. In a statement, it says, quote, The Michigan Medical Marijuana Act has many gray areas that are causing much confusion about marijuana usage. The largest gray area is obtaining the drug. This is a problem that only the state legislature can resolve. But until the Michigan legislature draws a hard line in the sand, it's a problem this burgeoning industry has to deal with. You have to break the law to follow the law, I guess. In Detroit, Poppy Harlow, CNNMoney.com.